Hi, my name is Jennifer, and this is my service dog, Daryl. And today, we're going to be showing you all of Daryl's winter gear. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, we're going to show you Daryl's winter gear. Thank you. Mm hmm Okay, let's do it. So the first thing is Daryl's um, lighter winter coat, and it's from Roughwear. And... I really like this because it's like the perfect like amount of warmth for when it's just cold but not like freezing and snowing um, but enough that he needs some sort of coat on. Um, Daryl doesn't have an undercoat he just has he's very like thin hair so he does get chilly and needs coats when it's really cold out. So the next thing is Daryl's heavy coat. So he wears this if it's like really, really freezing outside and snowing and it's more like freezing temperatures. This is also from Roughwear and it looks like this and it's really nice and puffy coat so it keeps him really warm. And one of my favorite things about this jacket actually is how it secures so it actually buckles in at the sides. So his old winter jacket, whenever he wore it, the back would like fly up in the wind so it like didn't really serve its purpose because it would just fly up and then it was not even on him so I really like this because it stays on super well and it won't this won't fall off and get swept away by the wind so yeah and it's a really nice quality and it fits him really well so yeah we love this and we're excited for snow days to use it for <laughs> So the next thing that Daryl uses during the winter is lots of biothane gear. So biothane is like a fake leather material um, and it's basically like, it kind of feels like leather but it's not and it doesn't, it doesn't absorb any water or dirt or anything so it's like brand new all the time. You can just rinse it off and it's done. So I love using this um, when it's wintry and like gross and muddy and wet and like raining or snowing. Um, Daryl has this little biothane collar and he also has, he has two leashes. I just have one with me. This is his like two foot leash that I like to use when he's working because it's just a lot easier than like a giant leash. And he also has um, a biothane hands-free leash. So if I want to use that, but these are awesome because he can get muddy and get wet and it doesn't ruin them at all so I really love that. So the next thing that Daryl uses in the winter are paw protectants. So he has two different kinds. He has his boots. So we don't really use boots very much in the winter just because I don't find as many opportunities that I feel like he needs boots. Um, I don't like to put them on him like just if it's cold. I would do it if we're just if it's like icy or like really really snowing and we're gonna be outside for a while that's when he would wear boots, but he normally uses these mostly in the summer, but they're a good thing to have if you need them in the winter. For everyday winter protection on his paws, we like to use Musher's Secret. This stuff is so awesome, and Daryl absolutely loves it. He sits on his back and like falls asleep, and I like massage it into his paws, and he loves it. Um, and basically, this is just like, I'll show you. It's just like a balm, and you put it on their paw pads, and it can protect, yeah, what's that, your favorite? It just protects them from the salts and all of like the bad stuff. And Daryl really likes the taste of it. And he just, I just put this on and then I put little um, dog socks on him until it dries because he likes to lick it right off of him. Um, so it soaks in. And this also works in the summer too for heat protectant. But this is kind of more of an everyday rather than boots this is like a first step and then boots is kind of more if it's like really crazy. So that is basically all of Daryl's winter gear. Um, for his vest, he just wears his normal vest usually. Um, he has a summer vest, but obviously I don't use that in the winter. So he just wears his vest over, um, over his coat. And I guess if he was wearing his big coat working, I'd probably find a different way, like maybe put a leash wrap on his leash to just identify him as a service dog so he doesn't have to double it up. But that would really only be if we were going to be outside, so. And I'm not a freezing temperature kind of gal, so <laughs> I probably wouldn't be working him outside in 
when he would need that. That's just more for going on a walk or just playing outside because he does, he does get chilly when he's playing outside in the winter. But yeah, that's basically all of Daryl's winter gear. I hope you enjoy. Um, you can follow Daryl on Instagram. The link is in the description. He loves his Instagram. He likes to be a model. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to to see more of this cute little face down here that he's so tired and hiding. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Do you want to say bye? What do you see? <laughs> I love you. Mm. Bye.